my brother. How are you doing, brother? I'm good, I'm good. good. This, I'm quite impressed. Huh? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. I can see there's a damage of uh, four armyworm. Yes. But generally the field is clean. What did you do? Yeah, we sprayed. Oh, you sprayed, yeah, huh? we sprayed. Wow. Quite efficient, huh? Yes. Beautiful. And um, how much water have we, or how many times have we irrigated so far before the, the rains? We were irrigating once a week. Once, once a week. every five days. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it has brought it to this stage. Yes. I tell you, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful millis. Now, look at the height. There's yes. always been a question to say the efficiency of the, of, of, of the pivot. Yeah. Because my worry was on the height of the maze okay. versus the... Uh, the droppers. Yes. Now, um, how can people go in uh, with this uh, sort of irrigation without the water being disturbed? Because if you look at the rows and the height of the maze, the water now is coming into the maze so it won't splash or spread to all the rows. No, it doesn't. How do we, how do we correct that? So what we do now is we undo the wobble at the bottom. Yeah. And then we undo the extension pipe. So the wobbler is the rose, huh? Yeah, yeah, at the huh? bottom. And then we'll take that and put it at the top and tighten it in and leave out the extension. Okay. So this is basically what we're going to do here. Um, is it easy? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, yes, 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 yes. Ah, good. So all, all, okay. Okay. Go. You, you. Yeah. Uh, are you not far? Ah, okay. So now, so we've taken that extension pipe yeah. out now, and he's screwing it straight into the, the pipe at the top now. Yes, okay. Okay. Ah, yeah, which not to done about Fumba. Yes, yeah, good. Good, it's tight enough. Let's see the other one. Wow. So while, while he's doing that, you can see the rain gauge here. Yes. It's to make sure that it's always putting on the right amount of water. Right. How much water? So we, we're getting like about 80, 85% watering correctly. Okay. Here. Yes, yes, yes. And that and what we've done here is we've watered it um, once every five days. Right. And we've, we've put on about 20 mils every five days in okay. here. Okay, yeah. So this pivot has stood for four days. It hasn't watered. Four days. Yeah, huh? because but it's, it's looking good. Yeah. I think it's because of the mulch as well. That's oh, that, this is what you call smart from Buddha, eh? Yes. Where you're combining irrigation plus uh, yes. mulch. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see. Um let's see if now we put in let, I, I just want to yeah. see and the height. Let's go and pull it. Yeah. To pull. You see? One person is pulling. Yeah, okay. I like that. You see, as, as long as his road is good. Yeah. He can pull it by himself. Okay, wait. Can you, yeah, I'm quite happy now. The, the clearance now, from there to here. Yes. Yeah, and there, from there to here. Yes. There's no maze which will grow beyond that. It, it, they, they, no, it, mostly that we've done it, it, it's fine with that. Yeah, because this is up 73, it's a long season. Yeah. But if you look at the height, it won't go beyond no, uh, the two meters. It's uh, nearly ready for testing. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see. The here, yeah. yeah, those well, longer ones. There's nothing wrong in well, it's tussling already, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so it's almost there, so yeah. it to be safe, yes. Yeah, so, it's yeah. not gonna get yeah. there, you see, yeah, not at all, yeah, mm. though, still smelling raw. Mm. You mm. can still smell the sweet maize on it. Yeah, the still not yet mature. Yeah. So, yeah, this is good. So, in terms of efficiency, people are asking, how efficient is this? What percentage would you place this? This uh, between 80 and 85%. But from the eyes, it's like it's 100%. Yeah, because look. If I look at the, um, uh, at the wobblers, you find the overlap. It's, it's actually overlapping. All the time. You know, all the time, which is one, which means the pressure is correct. One and secondly, you find that the the the, the swath of each and overlapping is covering. You see the whole the whole field misty. Yeah, you see. Let let me show you something on the on this corner of the land. The goats ate it. Yeah. When it was little, right down. So this has had a little bit of uh, 
a back push on here. It's okay. been cut down a little bit. Yeah. It's yeah. been uh, retruned a little bit. Yes. But where we've got the maize up at the front that hasn't been eaten, it's 100% level. Yes. So that actually shows you that this thing is 100% irrigation. Exactly. It's level. It, it works very well. The uniformity is showing yes. the efficiency. Yes. And if how, you, how efficient it is. Yes. And yeah. if, if you turn around and, and uh, look at the maize that's just growing now, yeah. it's all level. It means the, it, the, it all got enough water. It's all uh, got enough water, at, enough the same water time. Yeah. at the same time. There's not big patches yeah. where it's all yeah. uneven. Okay, okay. Yeah. And um, wanted to know is it um, solar 100%? No, no, no. A lot of, a lot of, we're getting a lot of these questions like that. And um, it, any engine will do. Actually, I haven't sold a pivot with the solar system yet. I've sold the pivot and they've put their own pumping. On it because 90% um, of the people that are coming here have been doing some form of irrigation and they don't want to go and buy another engine. They're right. So they've got an engine. They've either got a diesel engine or electric motors or whatever system they want to use to, to drive the water on it. All we need here is a volume of water of say 4,800 liters an hour. And what pump do you, what size pump is the best for this? A two and a half horsepower. Two and a half horsepower. That'll pump, uh, two and a half horsepower that'll pump to a 60 meter head. Ah, okay. Once we get above that, then we need a three horsepower. Three horsepower. You know, like we've, we've put one at the Institute of Agriculture in Harare mm -hmm. and the borehole was 90 meters. So we had to buy a three and a half horsepower. So that it uh, can, it, it can push the pressure up. Yeah, yeah. And now it's giving us exactly the amount of water that we need. They've put a pressure gauge on, but the the set that the pump volume at that will give you this pressure here. Okay. Automatically. Okay. Wow. But so we they're wanting us to put a pressure gauge on. So we we'll think we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Which is good. And tell me, if you are using solar, what solar size panel do you use? Um, for the two and a half, or half horsepower panels we need 3000 about 80 watts and uh, that's going to come to um uh it's six six panels about uh -huh. of 600 watts six panels of, of 600, 600 watts, watts. Yeah. that should be enough to yeah. irrigate huh? yeah 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 or five yeah. sorry it's 550 watts i think somewhere around there 510 yeah, okay. watts yeah. because, six panels yeah because um after our visit or our visit at um Sabukumrewa, um, what do you call him? Uh, Abel Omrewa. Abel Omrewa, yes. Um, I noticed he's using the source of water, he's using a shallow well, yes. a sime, yes. and he's using solar 100%. Yes. And he's very happy. Yes. Um, so I think that this answers some of the questions that you can use shallow well, you can use a dam, yes. or you can even use a bore straight, yes. or a night storage dam. To, as your source of water yes. to pump straight into the uh, pivot yes. um, using a 2.5 uh, horsepower. You see, the, way, the night storage dam is the best because you can put fish in it. Ah, uh, good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do you but, have purpose? But once you come out of the, the night storage dam, you need another pump there. Uh -huh. to pump back up to the pressure because you can't get the pressure out of the bottom of the night storage dam. Right, right. So you need a slightly smaller motor, maybe one and a half, two horsepower. Just to boost it Just up Just to boost bit. up the pressure. Okay. That's all, we, all you need. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, the, the thing is, is that most guys seem to think that they can't irrigate unless they've got solar panels. Not true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can irrigate with what you've got as long as it's big enough to put So we pressure. are talking of uh, diesel pump, Yes. Petrol pump. Yes. Zesa, which is electricity. Yes. And solar at the same time. Yes. yes. But if you are, if you've got a mountain, can't you use gravity? Yeah, but uh, the, the, it has to be quite high. Yeah, like if you go yeah, to because, Nyanga. Yeah, because hey, yes, the, Nyanga you can do it. There's very good pressure yeah, there. Yes. Yeah, you, you can. You could uh, even put your your storage tank on the side of the mountain. Oh yeah. And let it fill automatically, then take then, the pressure down wow. into the thing. Cheap money. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.